हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम स्टडर डॉट कॉम मैंने मिस रमनदीप सिंह सो स्टूडेंट्स एस बी आई सी बी ओ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिस्क्रिप्टिव पेपर हाउ यू शुड स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द एस ए द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द लेटर वो सारा कुछ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड आई बिन टीचिंग ऑन बैंक एग्जाम स्टडे फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स नाउ सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन सो इवन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग योर प्रिपरेशन स्टूडेंट्स there are some of the tips that you should uh, consider you should remember at the time of preparation ye aap yaad rakhiye please the first one is understand the topic before even writing before even start to write so many times i have seen that students they don't even properly read the question so even before uh, properly reading the question they start writing okay so if pros and cons are asked agar kisi topic pe pros and cons puche they just write uh, you know most of the contents on pros they don't write the cons sometimes uh, opinion is asked aap se aapka opinion pucha jata and you don't even give your opinion now that's a bad thing so you need to understand the topic you need to understand the question even before writing your answers you just have 30 minutes with you आपके पास जस्ट तीस मिनट्स हैं एंड विद इन द थर्टी मिनट्स यू नीड टू राइट द एस सी यू नीड टू राइट द लेटर एंड यू नीड टू हैव अ प्रॉपर प्लान मेक अ प्लान बिफोर राइटिंग मेक दिस अ स्ट्रैटेजी इफ यू आर गिविंग ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू द एस ए इफ यू आर गिविंग ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू द एस ए यू नीड टू स्पेंड एट लीस्ट थ्री टू टू थ्री मिनट्स इन मेकिंग अ प्रॉपर प्लान राइट अ प्रॉपर प्लान दैट आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस द टॉपिक then uh, i'm going to write the pros and I, i'm going to write the cons and then i'm going to conclude so there should be four parts at least so uh, in the, the write the pros the cons and then the conclusions right so ek proper plan hona chahiye even if you are writing a letter even if you are writing an essay you need to have a plan ek jo pointers hain char ya panch point jo aapne likhne hain essay mein you need to note it down in your mind in your paper whatever you want to do पॉइंटर्स जो प्लान है वो पूरा आपका क्लियर होना चाहिए दैट दिस इज माई प्लान आई एम गोइंग टू स्टेक टू माई प्लान ओके सो इफ यू आर राइटिंग यू नो विदाउट हैविंग अ प्लान वट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इज यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट द द वर्ड लिमिट या यू विल कीप ऑन राइटिंग ऑल द प्रॉज कॉन्स पूछे तो लिखोगे नहीं मे बी दे हैव आस्ट योर ओपिनियन आप ओपिनियन लिखोगे नहीं मे बी यू विल फॉर गेट अबाउट कंक्लूजन तो ऐसे होता है यू नीड टू हैव अ प्रॉपर प्लान देर शुड बी अ प्रॉपर फ्लो ऑफ आइडियाज इंट्रोडक्शन प्रॉज कॉन्स कंक्लूजन राइट सो देर शुड बी अ प्रॉपर फ्लो ऑफ आइडियाज एक प्रॉपर फ्लो ऑफ आइडियाज होने चाहिए ऐसे नहीं है यू स्टार्ट विद द कंक्लूजन एंड देन यू राइट द प्रॉज एंड देन यू फिनिश द ऐसे ऐसे नहीं कर सकते राइट ग्रामर एंड स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वन ऑफ द कॉमन प्रॉब्लम विद द स्टूडेंट्स is that they uh, even i check the the essays and letters myself i mean a lot of essays i check 95% of the students they make stupid silly uh, grammar mistakes i mean most of the times it is uh, very difficult to understand the essay because the grammatical mistakes are so huge that it is very difficult to understand the essay further there are spelling mistakes so try to avoid grammar mistake try to avoid spelling mistakes do not try to impress the examiner with fancy words which you have never used in your life kuch aise words na use kare jo aapne aaj tak use nahi kiye hain aap kisi ko impress karne ki koshish na kare don't try to be a very smart person uh, this is a test of english right you just need to uh, write boring stuffs kuch aap boring sa likhe simple likhe try to write simple essay as simple as possible so this is the mool mantra i would say if you are writing an essay write try to write a simple essay simple don't try to complicate anything don't try to give your like your innovative ideas this is not the right place to give your innovative ideas this is not upsc nobody is going to give you extra marks for your innovative or creative ideas sometimes it is difficult to understand innovative and creative ideas and maybe the person who's reading it he doesn't have that much time uske paas utna samay hi nahi hai okay make more use of uh, 
make uh, more use of simple words i would say simple words flow of idea answer the question you will get the maximum marks okay most of the times grammatical mistake spelling mistake there is no flow of ideas you are not even answering the question these are the common mistakes that the students they commit okay try to avoid these mistakes typing speed is an issue that you need to you know solve at this stage 30 minutes ka exam hai 30 minutes ka agar paper hai essay bhi likhna hai aapko writing bhi likhna hai aapko plan bhi karna hai so if your typing speed take a typing test right now so if your typing speed is less than i would say 25 25 words per minute se agar aapka typing speed kam hai it's an issue i would say if it is even less than 20 major issue i would say it's a major issue I mean, if it is between 13, 15, 10, you won't be able to complete your essay or complete your letter. I mean, if your uh, typing speed is 12, 13 words per minute, you won't be able to complete your essay and letter. I can assure you. So at least uh, your speed should be at least 20 words per minute, 20 words per minute. Uh, if you want to complete your essay and letter, I mean, have, give like one minute to the plan. Up stretch करके उसको complete कर पाओगे उसके मुझे नहीं लगता कि जिसकी speed 12, 13, 10 की है वो अपना ऐसे letter complete ही नहीं कर पाएगा according to me okay and maybe that is what they are testing कि आप 30 minutes में कितना type कर सकते हो plan करके अच्छे से answer कर सकते हो कि नहीं कर सकते that is important student state bank of india circle based 2023 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, live sessions, mock tests, interview preparation guidance. So link to join the course is available in the description. Please check it. So check the list of our successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for SBI Circle Based Officer 2022 exam. Very common question asked by the students, uh, sir, how to write an essay in the descriptive paper of SBI CBO 2022 exam. So students, my name is Ramandeep Singh and I have been teaching for various competitive exams for last 10 years now. So today I'm going to teach you how to write an essay for the SBA CBO exam. So contents of this session, first of all, the common topics, I'm going to discuss the kind of topics that you can expect in the exam, the marking criteria, the format in which you need to write, and then the sample essay, one sample essay I'm going to provide you. And then I'll give you a homework and followed by do's and don'ts in while writing an essay. So that's, that's what uh, we are going to do today. So that will be a 20, 25 minute session. Uh, and that's more than sufficient. Okay, let's start how and from where to prepare students. I recommend these two websites, these two news sources, Indian Express and the Hindu Bahut acha content. Hai. If uh, the Hindu is not available, follow Indian Express or even business standard, whatever you get, just follow that. The editorial pages, uh, the opinion pages are really good. There are small you know, uh, essays or small editorials, guest editorials on in the newspaper, I mean, really amazing insights you're going to get. And that will help you to improve your uh, grammar and even vocabulary, right? So, pura help karta aapko. so do that. This is the source that I personally recommend my students and practice. That's really important to write a proper essay at the time of exam you need to write before the exam right so uh write an essay on a regular basis i'd write at least 20 essays before the exam you can easily write like one essay within like 20 minutes so i'll provide you a lot of topics so write uh, even today i'll provide you two topics you can write the essays today itself right that will help you for sure Common topics are most common topics. It starts from economy. Economy is one of the very, very common topic. Economy, pollution, public transportation, education, social media, women empowerment, environment, sustainable development, poverty, hunger, food security, water security, political, electoral reforms, nuclear energy, cyber security, human resources, e-governance, globalization, communalism, secularism, society and diversity. 
very common topics the examiner is not trying to test your knowledge the examiner is trying to test your writing skills it is a test of writing skills not your knowledge note that point it is a test of writing skills okay so the examiner is testing your writing skills not your knowledge so one of the common mistakes this is a tip number one ये बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स के माइंड में कंफ्यूजन है दैट दिस इज एन एग्जाम ऑफ यू नो द एग्जामिनर इज ट्राइंग टू टेस्ट योर नॉलेज द एग्जामिनर इज नॉट ट्राइंग टू टेस्ट योर नॉलेज द एग्जामिनर इज ट्राइंग टू टेस्ट योर राइटिंग स्किल्स सो द मार्किंग क्राइटेरिया द टास्क अचीवमेंट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द टास्क अचीवमेंट इन वेन वील डू द सैम्पल सो वट एवर द एग्जामिनर इज आस्किंग यू वेदर यू आर आंसरिंग दैट एग्जैक्ट क्वेश्चन uh let's say uh, the examiner is asking you uh, the pollution there is a lot of pollution in the cities right so what are the causes pollution in cities what are the causes and what is the solution what is the causes and what are the solutions so the examiner is clearly asking you the causes and solution in you need to give causes and then you need to give the solution and then you need to conclude that's it okay but if you are ranting about the government and if you write like causes in the entire essay and didn't provide solutions and for the solution there is just one line you you didn't do well right task achievement is the most important point coherence and cohesion that means there should be uh, all the sentences should be logically arranged there should be a logical the organization of your ideas so let's say there are ideas in your mind but if you want to write an essay we'll do that in the samples if there are ideas in your mind but those ideas are not logically you know organized then i mean you're not going to get good marks so task achievement logically organizing the ideas lexical resources good use of vocabulary aapki vocabulary thodi achhi ho uh, that doesn't mean you you should know really difficult words you should know related words words related to the topic for example pollution what are the uh, words related to pollution greenhouse gases the word related to uh the particular topic ozone layer right global warming these are the uh, vocabulary words really good vocabulary words related to the topic no need to you know mug up really difficult vocabulary words uska koi fayda nahi hai grammatical range and accuracy accurate grammar right the range of grammar that you are using it should be accurate as well okay so these are the four criterias four marking criterias generally used by the examiners okay so how to write an essay students first of all you need to write an introduction you need to write an introduction introduce your essay uh then in introduction paragraph then there is body paragraph 1 body paragraph 1 generally there are one uh, two or three body paragraphs so two body paragraphs followed by the conclusions if it is a opinion based essay you need to write your opinion if it is a suggestion based essay you need to write suggestions if uh, it is just pros and cons you just need to conclude right so uh, you'll understand how to write an essay with the help of a sample this is a sample we are going to uh, you know uh, do after this how to write a good introduction first of all understand the Uh, the format then we'll write a proper sample okay so how to write a good introduction introduction means what a good introduction what do you mean by a good introduction you consider the reader a layman and you are just explaining or introducing the topic introducing the reader with the topic that is the correct line you need to introduce the reader with the topic coffee table approach is a really amazing approach what is a coffee table approach let's assume that you are meeting a friend for a coffee and uh, you just started discussing pollution in your city what what are the reasons i mean let's say we are uh, i mean obviously we are friends 
let's say we we both are friends and uh, i i'm telling you i mean there is a lot of pollution in our city uh, see i mean see i mean the the air quality index is really bad right it's it's, it's 300 plus there is a lot of traffic what are the reasons there are a lot of traffic is there a lot of industries are there and what are the solutions you know that's how we need to write the essay uh introduce the reader in the introduction body paragraph if it is a pros and cons if it is a pros and cons in one uh, you know uh, in one paragraph write pros and second paragraph write cons if it is a problems and solutions in one uh, body paragraph write uh, write the problems in the second paragraph write solutions right that's how we need to do it and then in the conclusion uh, in the conclusion you need to summarize if the essay is asking for an opinion you need to give your opinion that's it that's how you need to write an essay we'll we'll do a simple topic many people believe that social networking sites such as facebook have had a huge negative impact on both individuals and societies to what extent do you agree please read the topic carefully many people believe that social networking sites have had a huge negative impact on both individual and society first of all we need to uh, you know read it separately uh, individuals and society the social networking sites may have positive impact on individuals may have negative impact on the society okay isko ek samajh ke mat karo it may be uh, different so first of all you need to write down your ideas your ideas may be different from my ideas or anybody you know can have different opinions to what extent do you agree first of all let's discuss uh, about individual do you think individuals way uh, you know it has good impact on individuals according to me yes it has you know positive impact on individuals on individuals it has positive impact how uh, you can connect with like minded people there are so many facebook groups whatsapp groups telegram channels uh, where you can connect with the like minded people connect with the like minded like minded people you can find and then you can connect i mean we are just writing roughly here okay like minded people just find and connect with like like minded people and then you can communicate with the help of facebook you can communicate with your school friends there are uh, you know uh, there is in the facebook you can just discuss with them you can have a chat or you can like their photos you know whatever they are doing with their lives so you can communicate and you can connect with your old friends even if they are living abroad they are living in another city another state you can communicate so you can communicate and you can join groups okay two different things and what about society what is the impact of uh, facebook in the society so people are using too much uh, too much facebook is people are using a lot too much i mean uh, they are too much into the social media thing okay they are uh, i mean it's difficult uh, as a society people are not interacting with each other in person not interacting not interacting in person people they are not interacting in person they are more active online while they are not interacting in person this is this is one of the major major cause actually they are now people are more interested online they are more interested in you know uh, they try to find like minded people online they are communicating online but they are not interacting with the societies okay they are less interested in the in the society so can we write i mean even the second uh, point second negative effect on uh, on the you know uh, on the society can be uh, bad impact on the clubs in like uh, uh, see now there are facebook groups in like 20 30 years back there were groups in in person actually there were groups in the parks uh, there were proper clubs people used to join that now i mean that i mean that is a lost trend okay even that is that can be a point 
let's write uh, the essay with the introduction let me hide myself social media sites for instance facebook are thought by some to have a detrimental means negative if you do not know this word it is totally fine you are not getting some extra uh, points for that so you can just write uh, it has negative effects right social media sites such as uh, facebook have detrimental effect on individuals uh, detrimental effect uh, uh, on individual people as well as society and local communities it negative uh, or positive okay detrimental means huge impact okay uh, however i believe that such sites are mainly beneficial to the individuals i and i agree that they have damaging effect on the local communities okay so uh, you need to be clear here you need to know that we are directly saying that okay i believe you need to be very clear whatever you want to say yes it is beneficial to the uh, individuals yes okay i clearly said it is beneficial it has negative impact on the society i clearly said it has damaging effect or negative effect on the local communities you need to be very clear about your position that is a tip be clear whatever you want to say be clear about it do not rant do not rant the uh, the facebook do not rant the uh, you know uh, government bahut zyada uske bare mein nahi likhna be clear about it whatever you want to say say that thing loud and clear with regards to individuals the impact that social media has had on each individual per person has clear advantages okay now why we wrote this with regards to individuals because we clarify to the reader that this paragraph is about individuals this paragraph is not about society this paragraph is not about uh, communities this paragraph is about individuals that is why we wrote with regards to individuals the impact uh, the social media has is positive right the it has clear advantages or it has positive you know uh, effect on the individuals firstly what is the first uh, effect okay and uh, we might have and then what is the second effect okay so this, i mean see the uh, the the flow of ideas with regard to the individuals it has positive effects firstly people from different countries are brought together with the help of sites such as facebook whereas before the development of technology and uh, social networking sites people rarely had chance to meet or communicate with anybody outside of their country right or their you know of the community that is the first advantage you, you can write uh, it in your own language but make sure that uh, the grammar is correct secondly facebook also has social groups which offers individuals a chance to meet and participate in discussions with uh, people who share common interest so in my uh, you know uh, city there are groups for uh, you know uh, there are some artists some painters some photographers who are having facebook groups or whatsapp groups there are a lot of uh, you know uh, students actually uh, some bank of india credit of the students they made a group so like minded people can have groups they can you know discuss so that is a positive thing about uh, facebook and that's all that's all about individuals uh, i have seen many students they know uh, these two points and they'll write the whole essay about these these two points but you need to discuss about society on the other hand first we were discussing about individuals the positive points now we are discussing about the society on the other hand the effect that facebook and other social networking sites have had on societies and local communities can be only seen as negative see we are very clear about our position we are very clear uh, in this paragraph first we are very clear that this paragraph is about society and facebook has negative impact on the society okay rather than uh, taking part rather than individual pair people taking part in the local community they are instead choosing to take more interest in people online people are not interested in local communities they are not interested in talking to people in person 
दे आर मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन टॉकिंग टू पीपल ऑनलाइन राइट कॉन्सिक्वेंटली द पीपल विद इन द लोकल कम्युनिटीज आर नो लॉन्गर फॉर्मिंग क्लोज और सपोर्टिव रिलेशनशिप्स क्लियर सो दैट इज वाई द होल सोसाइटी is becoming more disjointed and fragmented the society is fragmented uh, the individuals are like they are they are sticking to their mobile phones their laptops tabs they are not uh, taking part in the cultural or the local community activities they are not talking in person actually right they spend more time on the screen on online uh, with people they have never met face to face Uh, and who they are unlikely to ever meet in the future so on facebook generally people they have 600 700 1000 friends 2000 friends there are a lot of people online who are in your friend list that you have never met so uh, it has negative impact on the society because you are not making friends in your city in your community i mean there may be a possibility that you don't know uh a guy who's living uh, you know uh, the next door but you actually know a lot of people who are from another cities so yeah that has a negative impact on the local community okay and how would you conclude that you need to summarize everything to conclude always write like this to conclude or to summarize that's how you need to start a conclusion paragraph so although conclude uh, all those social networking sites have brought individual closer they have not had the same effect on the society or the local community so this line summarizes the whole paragraph although social networking sites have positive effects on the individuals but it it actually <coughs> it had negative effects on the society do not repeat words do not repeat words try to avo- avoid the repetition that is that is something many student uh, students they, they do this uh, mistake if you repeat your words i mean there uh, that might have negative impact on your marks local communities should do more to try and involve local people in local activities in order to promote the future of the community life okay so this is the opinion or this is a suggestion local communities should do more they should have events they should try to attract the youth or they they should try to attract the citizens local people to to get involved in the local activities okay so beautifully written essay right and that's how you should write an essay i hope uh, the essay is pretty clear now and the essay is pretty clear now uh i hope uh, that's clear okay uh i'll give you a homework as well there is an homework today the quality of life in large cities is decreasing discuss the causes and solution large cities mein quality of life kaise decrease kar rahi hai what are the causes and what do you think what are the solutions first of all the causes that there is a lot of pollution See, this is my my personal view. Your personal view can be different. आप कुछ अलग तरीके से सोच सकते हो That is up to you. And you can write according to you. Pollution is there. There's a lot of pollution and traffic jam. There are totally different things. Traffic jam is a totally different thing. Okay. So there is pollution. There is traffic jam, which is a bad thing. Okay. These are the causes of uh, you know uh, bad quality of life, low quality of life in large cities. I mean. i i have been to delhi i mean i have seen a, there is a lot of pollution and even at my place there is a lot of pollution but we are uh, somewhat not living in the center of the city but in uh, you know some uh, larger cities like delhi there is a lot of pollution there is a lot of traffic jam so that leads to you know lower quality of life and what are the solutions uh strict norms by the government such as banning old vehicles which delhi government is doing ban firecrackers i mean yes uh some other reasons are there which should be you know the government should be active and the government should be serious about this pollution issue and public transportation can solve traffic jams issue because one bus can take i guess uh, 50 people ride 
and if there are one bus versus 50 cars or bikes i mean obviously one bus would take less space okay that can solve the you know traffic jams issue uh, in the city of delhi i have seen uh, delhi metro which is a really amazing project it should be there in in all the major cities in india i mean it reduced the traffic jams issue up to a up to an extent so what are my tips uh, map out your ideas see that's how you are supposed to map out your ideas before writing your essay give one minute to mapping out your ideas that is really really important and if you are writing an essay without mapping out your ideas you are going to write a really bad essay map out your ideas write down your ideas or write down the ideas in your mind and there should be clarity clarity of language clarity of ideas if you feel facebook is bad for individuals write it if you feel facebook is good for society write it okay clearly be clear be straightforward right and vocabulary you are not supposed to mug up list of vocabulary words that is not required at all uh subject based topic based vocabulary is required for example in case of pollution greenhouse gases uh, these are some of the you know carbon emission carbon zero these are some of the keywords or the vocabulary uh, uh, words i mean that you can write in your essay and that can basically you know help you grab more marks no need to remember those uh, you know uh, uh, vocabulary less and that won't help you at all okay make use of statistical data only and only if you remember if you do not remember any statistical data do not write wrong data okay task completion is very important uh whatever is written in the see for example in the in the essay that we wrote uh this one this essay actually yeah in this essay uh what is the effect on uh, uh, of social media on individual and society if you are writing the effect of social media on individuals if only on individuals you are not uh, you know completing your task you need to write the effect of social media on individuals and society so if you are not completing if you are not completing your task if you are not answering your task you are not going to get good marks at all that would be the reason behind a bad marks okay so what you should avoid uh, while writing an essay that is really important do not focus excessively on one point i have seen that people they they just take one topic and they just keep on writing 200 words adhere to the word limit generally it is 200 words although it is not mentioned in the in the notification but generally it is 200 words okay do not excessively uh, focus on one point and one thing which is not mentioned here do not repeat do not repeat words or ideas what i have seen that the students they repeat a lot do not repeat ideas do not repeat words okay make sure uh, that you write what is asked not what you feel or like you need to complete the task this is a uh, english test this is a test of your writing skills the examiner is not testing your knowledge just answer what is asked in the question not what you feel uh, the answer should be okay no ranting please i mean do not i mean if the something is asked about pollution if uh, do not rant your local government if it is about uh, poverty in your country do not rant or do not you know rant your politicians no need okay when you take a final stand it is best to avoid extreme or highly unpopular opinions right do not abuse uh, the central government or uh, you know avoid touchy or what what i say topics right i mean avoid unpopular opinions okay avoid it so um, for example uh, 
if something is asked about secularism, you cannot be against secularism. You can't just say Muslims are bad, Hindus are good, or Sikhs are bad, or this is good. Do, this is a touchy topic. Avoid it at any cost. The examiner may fail you for that. Okay. Adhere to the word limit, whatever is mentioned, if 200 words are asked, make sure that you write at least 200 words. Between 200 to, let's say, uh, two, uh, 220 to 30 words, you need to write that. Okay, adhere to the word limit. Never write 190 words. If you are writing 190 words, uh, marks would be deducted. Okay. And students, SBI CBO 2022 course, it's available on bankexamstoday.com. We are covering the entire syllabus, including the descriptive paper. And we are uh, we are providing video classes, notes and the test series. The entire study material is available on the dashboard. Uh, you can cover the course with the help of a systematic study plans, study material, proper doubt clearing sessions are there. Links are available in the description. Uh, just go to the link in the description and you can join the course there. In case of any doubt, this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer all your doubts. In the past, all these students, they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for all of them in 21, 22, 2019. Uh, all these students, they took our courses for various credit officer and scale to scale three level exams and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for all of them, right? If there is any doubt in your mind, always ask your doubts on my WhatsApp number. I'm going to answer your doubts. Subscribe the channel and like this video. That's really, really important. And subscribe the course as well. And we'll help you to crack this exam. That's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye. Hello, students, and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So SBI CBO 2022 exam is going to be held on this Sunday, 4th of December. So uh, a lot of students asked me the various topics that you can expect in the descriptive paper. There will be an essay and there will be a letter that you need to write okay time management is an issue here time management ka issue rehta hai because see what i have noticed <coughs> is that most of my students see uh, students i have a descriptive paper evaluation service so in our sbi cbo course we do evaluate your answers okay in our test series we evaluate your answers manually i am doing it manually so what I have noticed is uh, students are writing the letters properly. Letter properly likh rahe hain kyunki usme uh, actually likhna easy hai mere hesab se. Kuch introduction nahi likhna, kuch kan, zyada conclusion nahi likhna and it's easy actually. There is a problem in the essay writing. I have already made a video on essay writing. It is available on YouTube. I'll uh, post a link in the description. Please watch that uh, video related to the essay writing for SBI CBO. Very important. I told you the format uh, for the essay writing, introduction kaise likhna hai, body paragraphs kaise likhne hai, conclude kaise karna hai, wo maine sare ka sara bataya hua hai, usko ek bar aap dekh lehen. Essay writing mein topic is tarah se aap joh hai expect kar sakte ho. Start with the government schemes. Government schemes are anyways important for your exam, okay, for the uh, MCQ paper as well. Uh, last year jo hai, last year NPS aaya tha, last year NPS aaya tha and NPS is actually anyways right now it's also very important. NPS, Mudra Yojana, Jandhan Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana, PPF and the related schemes. Okay, various insurance and uh, you know similar schemes are there. Satat schemes hai. Please do that. That's really really important and it is, it is very easy to write an essay on a government scheme. Government scheme pe essay likhna bohat bohat easy hai. Aapko sirf wo wali scheme jo hai explain karni hai aur apna thoda sa opinion dena hai. Ek general topic pe essay likhna actually mushkil hota hai. Bohat sare students jo hai prefer karte hai ki general wale topic pe hi likh lehen. Koi galti na ho jai. NPS likhenge to shayad koi galti na ho jai. Mudra likhenge shayad koi factual mistake na ho jai. Lekin ये टॉपिक्स पे ऐसे बहुत ज़्यादा स्कोरिंग होते हैं, because according to me ओवर uh, कॉन्फिडेंस होना बहुत गलत है। आप जनरल टॉपिक पे लिखते हो ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट होगे कि इसमें मार्क्स अच्छे आ जाएंगे, but according to me गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स ऐसे टॉपिक्स में से मार्क्स ज़्यादा बेटर आते हैं, if you know the topic write about it 
इफ यू हैव ऑप्शन गवर्नमेंट स्कीम आ गया या ऐसा कुछ जिसके बारे में आपने पढ़ा हुआ है एंड देन द जनरल टॉपिक आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू यू नो राइट अबाउट द दिस दीज गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स ठीक है एंड देन सोशल इशूज अगेन दिस इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ जनरल टॉपिक पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हो गया पल्यूशन इन द सिटीज ओवर पॉपुलेशन दीज काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स ओवर पॉपुलेशन करप्शन इन इक्वालिटी करप्शन हो गया इन इक्वालिटी हो गया पॉवर्टी इन इन इक्वालिटी पॉवर्टी इन इंडिया हो गया आपका सच इशूज राइट इट्स एक्चुअली डिफिकल्ट टू राइट एन एस ए फॉर ऑन ऑन एन सोशल इशू इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट लिखना मुश्किल हो जाता है नहीं लिख पाओगे अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आते हैं ज़्यादातर एंड देन लेटेस्ट टॉपिक्स लाइक लाइक क्रिप्टो करेंसी यू पी आई इवन इफ यू सी यू पी आई के बारे में इफ यू डोंट नो इन डेप्थ क्रिप्टो करेंसी के बारे में इफ़ यू डोंट रियली नो इन डेप्थ देन एक फॉर्मेट नहीं बन पाएगा आपके ऐसे का राइट right? वो आप यू विल बी राइटिंग जनरली आप जनरल लिखना शुरू कर दोगे विच वोंट बी वेरी यू नो मार्क्स अच्छे नहीं आएंगे राइट right? मार्क्स अच्छे नहीं आएंगे मार्क्स अच्छे वहाँ पे आएंगे ये एन पी एस मुद्रा योजना जनधन योजना अटल पेंशन योजना पी पी एफ ऐसे टॉपिक्स में ऐसे बिकॉज यू नो अ लॉट अबाउट दीज टॉपिक्स अगर मैं मुद्रा की बात करूँ देखो स्टार्ट करोगे उसका स्टार्ट uh, क्यों किया गया था ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या था जो तीन टाइप्स हैं किस तरह के डॉक्यूमेंटेशन लगते हैं अभी तक क्या फ़ायदा हुआ है और कंक्लूजन सिंपल ऐसे ख़त्म ओके okay. जनधन में भी ऐसा ही है आप क्रिप्टो के बारे में क्या लिखोगे व्हाट वुड यू राइट अबाउट क्रिप्टो क्रिप्टो करेंसी के बारे में क्या ही लिख सकते हो बताओ दैट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट यूपीआई के बारे में लिखने बैठोगे तो क्या लिखोगे राइट जनरलाइजेशन में आपके लिए कुछ टिप्स हैं वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टिप्स फ्रॉम माई साइड फर्स्ट यूज ईजी लैंग्वेज डू नॉट ट्राई टू कॉम्प्लीकेट योर ऐसे डू नॉट ट्राई टू यू नो use very difficult words very difficult sentences complex sentences make it easy to read use related words use related keywords related keywords ka use kare related keywords ko aap use kare then only your essay would be good okay jo us topic ko relate karte hain aise hi keywords aap use kare okay uh, letter writing mein kuch ek topics aapne kuch puche the very common topic is write a letter to your branch manager to issue a चेक बुक और राइट अ लेटर टू योर ब्रांच मैनेजर टू फाइल अ कंप्लेन और राइट अ लेटर टू योर ब्रांच मैनेजर कुछ भी इशू हो सकता है अगर रिगार्डिंग अकाउंट क्लोजर अकाउंट क्लोज करना है आपको सो दीज दीज आर द सम ऑफ दीज आर सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स दैट यू कैन राइट ओके कॉमन टॉपिक्स हैं हर बार यही आता है और देन देर आर कंप्लेन्स और इन्विटेशन इन्विटेशन भी है कंप्लेंट लिख सकते हैं टू द मेयर रिगार्डिंग यू नो देर इज़ अ गार्बेज विच इज़ डम्ड नियर योर हाउस उसका कंप्लेंट कर दें राइट और रिक्वेस्ट टू एन एडिटर ऑफ और ऑफ अ न्यूज़ पेपर और अ मैगजीन रिक्वेस्ट और गिविंग योर ओपिनियन सो लेटर टू ब्रांच मैनेजर इज़ एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑलवेज राइट योर सी अगर आप किसी ब्रांच मैनेजर को लेटर लिख रहे हो तो ऑब्वियसली अगर आप उनके कस्टमर हो तो अपना अकाउंट नंबर तो ज़रूर लिखोगे राइट अकाउंट नंबर नेम ये तो ऑब्वियसली आप लिखोगे राइट चाहे डमी अकाउंट नंबर ऐसे ऐसे करके कुछ भी लिख दो लेकिन दैट इज़ रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट क्योंकि इसके बिना आपकी लेटर अधूरी है सो रिक्वेस्ट टू एडिटर ऑफ अ न्यूज़ पेपर मैगजीन और कंप्लेन दीज आर द कॉमन टॉपिक्स कॉमन ऐसे ही क्वेश्चन जो हैं एग्जाम में आते हैं ठीक है सो एस बी आई सी बी ओ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू कोर्स जिसमें इवेलुएशन भी हम करते हैं वी आर डूइंग द इवेलुएशन एज वेल एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू राइट एट लीस्ट टू एस एज टू लेटर्स एंड यू गेट दम इवेलुएटेड बाय मी आई गिव यू सम सजेशन एंड इन द कोर्स इन द लास्ट थ्री फोर डेज यू कैन कवर योर एंटायर सिलेबस यूज दिस कोर्ड सी बी ओ ट्रिपल नाइन एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग द कॉर्स फॉर ट्रिपल नाइन द कम्प्लीट स्टडी मटीरियल अलॉन्ग विद द डिस्क्रिप्टिव पेपर क्लासेज आर देयर इन द कॉर्स आई रिकमेंड ऑल ऑफ यू टू टेक द कॉर्स ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स द टू का कॉर्सेज इन द पास्ट एंड द क्रैक द रिस्पेक्टिव एग्जाम्स आई एम रियली रियली हैप्पी फॉर ऑल ऑफ दैम 
दिस इज़ माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर नाइन ज़ीरो सिक्स सेवन टू ज़ीरो वन ट्रिपल ज़ीरो दिस इज़ माई पर्सनल व्हाट्सएप नंबर इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट जस्ट आस्क योर डाउट्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर ऑल योर डाउट्स दैट्स एक्चुअली ऑल फॉर टू डेज वुडेंट थैंक यू एंड हैव अ वेरी वेरी नाइस डे बाय